This new game is called Serum, and time is literally in your hands. We're going to be reacting to the latest gameplay demo overview. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to drop a like. Let me tell you something about our upcoming survival game. He's Russian. We're, this is going to be this is going to be a good one, boys. Exploring an infected island. You're gathering resources, brewing. There's a cool little thing right there, the little pulsating thing. You can definitely see that there's going to be some uh, abilities in the game. And there's also a crafting table, it looks like, too, in the next one. So maybe you can craft those abilities. That wasn't a pig sound. Lying sack of shit. As well. It alters their DNA. My real question here is, like, how does that whole injection thing work, right? Like, how does that... How does that... Where is the... Where Do you just shove it into your... How long is the needle... And you just shove it into your arm, and how does it get into your bloodstream? Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Once your character hits a specific mutation level of any type, it unlocks new skills. Ooh, a mutation level. Fancy. It's definitely made by Russians. These can range from minor enhancements to significant benefits, like night vision, silent walking. Do you say night vision? That's cool. You also got silent walking as well. How <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Every time you get a positive change, you're risking getting side effects that can be very dangerous. I don't know if we're going to skip right over that one, but I, I, I don't I don't like that. Because he said if there's a positive, there's always going to be a negative. Which, again, in real life, that's always the case. But whenever we're talking about a video game, why are we giving the player a negative effect when we just gave them a positive effect? I, I, I hope it's not that drastic. Enemies ranging from mutated animals through humanoids up to terrifying biome bosses. Each of them requires special weapon choices and unique strategies. You can also brew various types of serum to enhance your weapons, adding special effects to their attacks. So for what it sounds like to me, it's going to be like Dying Light or Dead Island, something along those lines where you're going to have to craft things and just an advanced way of saying this is Dying Light or Dead Island. Not to downplay, but definitely a unique concept. Gameplay mechanics will be similar. In serum, life is literally in your hands. Definitely looks like a very unique concept, but mechanics will definitely be similar to other games. Uh, obviously, not everything is going to be brand new. But if you're excited for this, be sure to drop a comment down below and tell me how excited you actually are.